been a while, but I finally, finally got it in. This was from Tony. Of course, when it was delivered, it was pouring out, and I was worried that if I wasn't around, he would just throw it on the ground or something, but they had to sign for it. Um, those of you guys that ordered this, you know, they won't just leave it, they, you've got to sign for it. Luckily, my son was there, and my son ended up taking it from the, uh, the UPS guy, so it never went on the ground. Anyway, this thing is pretty large. Those of you that have the 1350 Polar Lights Enterprise, you guys know the size of it. So it's pretty big, and this is going to be really fun. I just have to figure out where I'm going to open it. Um, this won't fit on my desk. That, it's a given. This won't fit on the desk. But I'll find a place, and um, why don't we finally take a look at what's in the box. So when it comes to the box, when I did the tracking, checked the tracking number, it said that it was 48.5 pounds. It really doesn't feel that heavy, but I'm just happy it's here. This is from Tomy. This is item number 47416CS. The barcode 00036881474166. One piece of the disco the uh, one three fifty USS Enterprise ship. Unfortunately, it was made in China, but what are you going to do? And it looks like that. That's the same kind of thing that's on all sides of the box. So let's go ahead. We're going to open it up. Showing you it's the same on every side. They have these special corners on that are taped on. And these are cardboard. So let's get the uh, tape them off. All right, so I got a special knife to open up the boxes. I want to be very careful with this. You know what, maybe this might not be the thing to use. Let me use the small hobby knife. It's a little bit better. We've got the beautiful USS Enterprise NCC-1701, so let me get it out of this box. It does have tape on the ends. opens up that way. I think we're going to have to slide it out of the box. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to... Now, there's a couple of the uh, styrofoam pieces that I, that I broke by accident. So let's put this to the side. One of the bases, because um, there's two bases. There's one for the primary hull and there's one for the secondary hull. So we'll put this aside. Look at that. This one could be for the primary hull. There's writing on the inside, so let me show you guys. 
This one is F0523YLOO, and this is 2023 Tomy 47416CS. So hopefully you guys can... We got more tissue paper, and that's everything that's in the top. So now what we gotta do is we gotta cut it open, the tape. So my friends, it's been a year. I ordered this in July of 2022. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. First thing I notice, we have the operation manual. And we'll go through this in a second. Let me see what else they have. I just want to make sure nothing flies away. Okay. So here's the operating manual. Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC 1701. And this is from Tomy, obviously. And there's a couple of other things that we're gonna go over. And we're gonna go through all of this, but let's take a look at the ship first. And this is in broad daylight, so we've got plenty of light. And I'm gonna take you off the tripod and I'm gonna show you this. Look at this, guys. Let's see if we can go in, zoom into the bridge. Look at that. Look at B and C deck. Going back to the impulse engines. We've got the nacelle, the Bessard collector. You can see the coolers, the cooling pipes. Oh my goodness. And look at, it looks like we have the, um, oh, we've got the deflector dish and it's metal. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over the, um, the manual and we're gonna see what we need to do to put it together. All right, so let's open it up and we're gonna see the things that we have on the inside before we get to the instructions. Certificate of Authenticity. USS Enterprise NCC-1701. Congratulations on purchasing this limited edition Star Trek USS Enterprise. You are officially part of the select group of passionate collectors. This 1350 scale USS Enterprise from the classic series Star Trek will only be produced once. The tooling molds were destroyed and this collectible will never be manufactured again. The Certificate of Authenticity hereby certifies that this die-cast collectible was produced by Tomy International and is officially licensed by Paramount. We got the signatures of the brand director and a senior concept and design manager, Prestige Tomy. So that's the Certificate of Authenticity. Let's put that over there. Okay, this is the warranty card. 12 month limited warranty. Tomy offers a 12 month limited warranty on select crowdfunded products from the date of shipment under normal and intended use and service against effective workmanship and material. If our product fails to meet our limited warranty, we will at our option replace the product free of charge or, play, or provide you with the replacement of comparable value. This warranty does not apply in cases of damage in transit, inadequate quick care or neglect, abuse, abnormal use, misuse, accidents, normal wear and tear, damage due to environmental and natural elements, failure to follow product instructions, immersion in, immersion in water except for products specifically identified by us in writing as intended for water use, battery leakage or improper installation, improper storage or maintenance of the product, 
improper service, a cause is not arising out of defects in materials of workmanship. For specific warranty information on our product, please check the product packaging or complete the form and contact us, uh, the contact us page at Tony.com. Okay, so that's basically all the warranty, blah, blah, blah. So now let's take a look on how we're going to put this together. So, Star Trek USS Enterprise. This is the die-cast replica manual. And you can see, this is the parts list. So we have the little clear tube. I was wondering what that was. Looks like we have the impulse decks. We've got the secondary hull with the nacelles, the basad collectors, the nacelle pylons. We've got the deflector dish. Um, it looks like we got the shuttle bay doors. We have an alum wrench with alum screws, and we have the three shuttle crafts. Uh, looks like we have um, the batteries. It looks like the double A and triple A. We have the two stand bases and the two stand arms. So let's figure out how we put this together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the bases. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, and you can see how we're going to put the clear tube in and it looks like this is going to snap into place and then we're going to use the screws on the bottom of all three parts um, we're going to do that three times and we're going to do the same thing for the other base it's going to go in it's going to fit into those slots and then we're going to use the screws and we're going to tighten them into place and then we're going to install the batteries next so place the saucer section upside down on the table um, you can open and close. See, you can twist the the, uh, the sensor dome. Warning, do not crush the sensor probe. Please keep the saucer upside down on a tabletop. Sensor probe on top of battery dome cover is fragile. You can see how you close it clockwise and you open it counterclockwise. And you can see how we're going to put the batteries in. And they're going to go into the secondary hull behind the deflector dish, kind of like the AMT um, Enterprise. I love it. And we're going to have four AAA batteries and four AA batteries. So to display the section and secondary hull displayed apart, we can put the primary hull on this base. You can see how it's going to be cradled in that little ring. The same thing, this one has the little pegs that are going to go up inside the bottom of the secondary hull. And to saucer section and secondary hull displayed together, lift the saucer section off the base. Place upside down on a table. Do not crush the sensor probe. Nest the bases together. Line up the saucer section and place the secondary hull and the base. Remove the cover. Um, alert the, the uh, Allen bolt. And do not over tighten. Again, warning, do not crush the sensor probe. Please. Keep saucer upside down on a tabletop. A sensor probe on top of the battery dome. Cover is fragile. And again, it's going to be cradled in that. So when we display it together, because of the weight of the primary hull, we're still going to use the stand. Um, you can see the Allen bolts that are going to go in, and we're going to screw that into place, and that's going to hold it onto the, um, the saucer pylon. So now we're going to operate it. So saucer section touch sensor. Lights on the impulse vents off. All lights on and off. Secondary hull touch sensor. Lights only. Lights and motor will slow, medium, fast, and off. You can see how to put it on. That's pretty ingenious. There are no switches. It's just a, a sensor. The touch sensor. Warning. To maintain battery life, remove the batteries when not in use. And please press and hold at least one second on a touch sensor to turn on the machines. Man, this is so cool. Okay, now the hangar bay door installation. The door snaps on and off. You can see the little section that's going to go in where you can see inside of the shuttle bay. And we've got the three little shuttle crafts that are going to go inside. And that's just going to be amazing. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the manual and get an understanding of what we were going to do before we actually put it together. Um, because this thing is, this is very expensive, 
and hopefully this is going to be around a long time. Maybe someday after I'm gone, my kids will love it as much as me. Well, that's probably not possible, but hopefully they can at least appreciate it. So let's go back and we're going to put her together. We've got double A and we got triple A. And those are taped in as well. They made it very secure because you know how the post office is. All right, so these are the triple A. And these are the double A. We've got part of the base. And these are the shuttlecrafts. I'll get to that in a minute. All right, I want to make sure we get all the pieces of the base out. So this is the little section that's going to actually cradle the um, sensor dome. And there's even a little, a little area where the, the cannon, the phaser cannon, can go through or the, the sensor. All right, let's put this to the side. Um, let's see, we have another box. This is just... We'll take out the deflector. Oh, God. Guys, this... Oh, this is amazing. And it's metal. Look at that. And it's all metal. Absolutely spectacular. Okay, let's put this right there. So I'm thinking we should take her out of the box, a lot of the packaging now. So maybe we can gently, and this thing weighs a lot. And, oh my God, guys, look at that, look at that. You can actually see in the bridge, we're going to put up a ton of pictures, the beautiful rust ring. And looking at the bottom, you can see the little little laser cannon. And look at the sensor bands. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, this is beautiful. And it weighs a ton. This thing is amazing. We got more tissue paper. Oh, we got the Allen wrenches. And we've got the, uh, the impulse deck piece. And we've got the bolts and we got the screws. So what else needs to come out of this? I think that's it. Very gently. <laughs> oh man. This thing weighs a ton, guys. We cradle it. I don't want the uh, all of the tissue paper to blow away. <laughs> Look at this, guys. And don't worry, I'll give you a more um, in-depth view when we go around when she's set up. But a lot of people were complaining about the uh, well, all the seams and the screw holes, and I guess this is what they were talking about. But that's not the end of the world in my book. I think this thing is gorgeous. Look at the little lights in the back where the observation deck is. In the packaging, we've got the shuttle bay door, and we've got the shuttle craft themselves. So let's get everything out of the packaging now. That and oh, we've got this piece. And I do believe that that is everything. It doesn't say we need it, I just don't want to take any chances. I got a regular screwdriver, I got a Phillips screwdriver, and I got a smaller Phillips screwdriver. So let's put it together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do um, let's check the parts list. We got both halves. Of the ship, we got the def the uh, deflector dish. We've got the Allen wrench. We got the screws. 
we have the impulse deck. You've got the shuttlecrafts. You've got the stands. And we got the bases. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right, step one, assemble the bases. So let's do that. We're gonna do the, uh, looks like the larger one first. So we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna use this base. So what we gotta do is we have this plastic piece right here. Put that in like that. And there are little holes that get guided in. And just like that, we got it in place. And we're gonna put two of the screws in. So I think all the screws are the same. All right, we need two screws. And we're going to use the, uh, the Phillips screwdriver for that. And absolutely, we cannot over tighten these because this is going into plastic. And that wouldn't be good. All right, that's good. Okay, that's the first base. We're going to do the second one for the second, for the, uh, the second base, and that's going to require three screws. So let's put this one over here for now. And we're gonna use this section, and it's gonna go in. You can see where the parts are going to fit. That's pretty simple. And we're gonna use three screws for this. Okay, that's the second base. So now, we're gonna take the bottom half of the primary hull and that's going to go up on uh, let's get this base ready let's put this one over to the side for a minute and with this is pretty cool guys because we rotate this counterclockwise and see how that kind of opens up and comes off we got to be careful because of the little sensor or cannon it's on the bottom of like that. Okay, what we do is with this one, there's a screw in there. So I got my smaller Phillips screwdriver. There we go. Okay, so when you get it open, that's what it looks like. And you can see where we're gonna put in the batteries now. Okay, so. These are going to be the AAA batteries. So we open this up. The ones, the areas with the springs are gonna be for the negative part. So we've got Looks like two of those for the negative. And we've got the two for the positive. That go down first. And the way this goes in, there's a little lip and it just goes right back onto there and we can screw this back into place. And we don't have to go crazy with tightening it. And then the battery cover, because we want the little phaser cannon to be facing forward, so we put it this way. And just like that, the batteries are in. Okay, so now when it comes to put this, okay, we'll do it the way the instructions say. Now we're gonna do the secondary hull, and we're gonna be doing the front. Okay, 
right, so let's move the base. <laughs> this thing is large, guys. All right, let's take the beautiful deflector dish. Okay, now we're gonna take the secondary hull. Incidentally, guys, there's a battery compartment right there. And we need a screwdriver. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the primary hull. We're gonna put in the double A screws. Um, and let's see, we can see the same thing. The negatives are gonna go down onto the springs and the positives are gonna go in the opposite way. And then we're gonna put the cover back on. And again, it's got that lip and that's how it goes into place. We're gonna screw it and I'll show, show you guys. We don't have to over tighten it. Okay, so that's all set. Now, what we got to do, now we're going to display them. And I'm going to put them separately for you guys to show you guys what they look like. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do the primary hull. And that's going to go on this part. Let's do it this way first. So we'll put this here. And when it comes to the secondary hull, we've got the base, and hopefully you can see the little pins. Okay, when it comes to the parts that are gonna go on the secondary hull, we'll put the, uh, the, input, the uh, deflector dish on, but let's put this on first. So when you look underneath, you can see there are two little holes and it gets cradled just like that. There we go. Okay, what messed me up was they have the little raised section on all sides. And I, um, I don't think on the Enterprise, I think it's totally smooth, but I could be wrong. Anyway, this is on. So what I wanna do is we're gonna move this over here. I wanna make sure you guys can see that. And now we're going to put, let's put these aside. And we're going to put the primary hull on. See how they kind of fit together? So, I want to put them in like that. And what that's going to do is that, going to, that we're going to take off the impulse deck and there's a, a hole in there where we're gonna guide it. Okay. So let's bring it closer. Let's put the bases together. Just like that, and hopefully it lines up. Okay, let's take a look at her. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys how to put her on. So see a little area behind the bridge? All you do is hold it. You don't even have to push it. All you do is touch it. Let's bring her around. Look at that. Let's see if we can get in and check out the bridge. Love it. And we got B and C decks. The camera wants to focus. Coming down, we got the beacon. Of course, this is the green for starboard. We 
can see the lights on the bottom around the sensor area. You can see the sensor bands. We've got the deflector dish. Okay, let's put the secondary hull. We'll light it up. We touch it once for the lights. So the fan blades and the Bessard collectors are not rotating when you push it once. When you push it once, it's for the lights. So let's take a quick look at the lights. We got the saucer pylon. And come on around, you can see more of the windows and the ship. And then we've got the sensor in the back. And we come around, let me see if I can actually get into the hangar bay for you guys. Into the hangar bay. We've got the um, the observation deck on top of the hangar bay. They did a really good job with that. See the different uh, lights of different colors they have in there. So let's take a look at the nacelles. So these are metal. These are die cast metal, guys. So it's not as easy to make sure that it's smooth like, you know, like you're redoing a 68 Mustang. Because these, um, you can see the lines where they come together, but she's still gorgeous. You can see the inner chiller grills, the cooling pipes, we get the radiators, and we have the, uh, the coolers, the chiller grill coming forward to the Bassard collector and you can see I like what they did they lit the little buttons on top because I had wanted to do that for my 1350 um, but I didn't do it because they didn't have it in the instructions and I don't remember the Enterprise having that lit but I do like that okay so now let's put the, the Bassard collectors on when you touch it once it's for the lights. When you touch it one more time, we have the Bessard collectors that start to rotate slowly. Look at that. You touch it again, they go a little faster. And finally, when you touch it again, they're going fast. So they're in warp speed right now. So the Enterprise is going to warp. And look at those. Come on, focus. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And um, like I said, guys, I wanted to show it to you in daylight because the natural daylight of the sun is probably better than I could do on the inside. And again, the, um, the, the, the uh, impulse engines don't light up, but that's okay. At least mine don't. So guys, don't look now, but the shuttle bay lights up. How awesome is that? Look at that. Oh my goodness, she's full of surprises. I remember how long it took me to do the 1350. It just took me forever <laughs> to try to get it um, detailed. Look at that. Let me see if I can actually get you in to show you the shuttle bay. And again, the pictures will do justice to her. Like I showed you guys the William Shatner signed Enterprise, the gold version. I did a separate video of just the photos and the slideshow and the video. And I'm going to do that for this one as well. Because she deserves it. She's the Enterprise. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can look up at the roof. Get in there. But look at that. And these light up as well. This thing is just incredible. It really is. And I got an apology letter from Tony. 
and they, they said they had apologized the way it looked. And they had offered, um, if you didn't like it, you would get a full refund. I, I don't know if you'd be crazy enough to not want it. I mean, these things, they just came out and they're already selling for, for triple what they were, were bought for. And I don't think that Tommy needs any, any apologies. I absolutely love this thing. I love her so much. I love the paint job. I love the weathering. Right down to the the pencil marks like they had on the one of the Smithsonian the filming model. I love the little shuttlecrafts. Speaking of which, let's take a look at those. Okay, so let's bring let's bring those around. All right, let's take a look at. I'll put them on the table. It might be a little easier to see. Okay, so let's see which one is this one. This one could be the Galileo. Can't really tell. Oh, this is the Columbia. NCC one seven. 01-3 USS Enterprise. Let's take a look around this little guy. Again, this is the Columbia. And look at the, the starboard side. And the back. I remember I had done mine for the 1350 Enterprise and man, these things are little. These are tiny to work on. So looking at the bottom. And finally the top. And these are gonna look really good uh, in the photographs. At least I hope they do in uh, the daylight because every detail is gonna be shown on it. All right, that's the Columbia. So why don't we go ahead and take a look if I can find it now. There it is. So this one looks like the Galileo. So again, excuse my fingers. The Galileo NCC 1701-7. And we'll take a look at the back. You can see the uh, the engines. And look at the starboard side. And let's bring her around to her nose. And look at the top and the bottom. I think it was going to be the same on all of them. Okay, and lastly, let's see, which one is this one? I can't tell if that's the Columbia. Wait a minute, I thought that this one was the Columbia. That's the Galileo. This one is the Columbia. I'm sorry, I can't read that. Okay, but anyway, we'll put them up in the, the listing in the descriptions in my uh, at the beginning but let's take a look at her front and the starboard side and looking at the back and the bottom real quick basically they're all the same but at this particular point in time the Enterprise is carrying three shuttlecrafts of course, the Galileo was lost, and that was Mr. Spock's first command. They went to the planet, well, they were marooned on the planet, and in a last-ditch effort for the Enterprise to see them, they used up all of the fuel, and they made kind of like a flare or a signal, and the Enterprise did catch it and come about and pick them up. There was a Galileo, too, by the way. And they're going to go into shuttle bay so let's put these little guys in and then I'm going to show you how to put the um, the doors on 
It's really simple. The door is actually the only thing that's made out of plastic on this, besides the base. So you put it on like that. This is gonna be tough to do with one hand, but it's got a little, a little clip on the top. So you put it in the top first, and you kind of slide it in, and you push it in on the bottom. And that way there, it locks into place because you don't want her losing her shuttlecraft. So, so my friends, that is the Enterprise from Tomy. The anticipation, I was going crazy waiting. I ordered July of 2022 and I finally got her in. And I absolutely love her. She is spectacular. And like a lot of my friends, a lot of guys out there had said they wish they would have bought more than just one. <laughs> I wish I would have bought three of them because they're already selling for mad money on eBay. And my fellow Trek brothers, if you're lucky to get this, if you haven't gotten it yet, you're gonna love it. You are absolutely gonna love it. So what I'm gonna do in another video is we're gonna do a slideshow of all the photographs and I'm gonna do the, um, the video just to show you guys this lovely lady. So my friends, until that video comes out, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon and have a great day.